I can totally understand the guy in this meme because uh, jobs that normally take other people hours can easily take me days to, uh, to do the same type of job. The reason why it takes me so much longer is because at the end of 2017, I uh, had a little battle with cancer, and even though I won the battle, it uh, left me, well, let's just say broken. So while some of these aren't uh, glamorous upgrades, um, some of them definitely are what you would call game-changing upgrades. This one here being a, an accelerator controller, 9Drive is the brand, and... It's made by several different companies. It's the most inexpensive uh, accelerator controller out there, and it works beautifully. Why would you need an accelerator controller? Well, because the, uh, there is a, a lack of response in when you push the accelerator. There's a, there's a delay that's built in from the factory. So what this does is it gives a tremendous boost to the power input that that pedal receives. And like I said, you're just really going to notice what, what kind of difference uh, this upgrade makes. I also decided to go with a GMRS uh, mobile radio rather than one that was just a handheld. So I finally got a dedicated one uh, installed. And uh, I really like the way this one performs. Plus, it was a very budget-friendly uh, uh, radio to, uh, to go with, so that was important to me. As you can see, my bump stops were just really deteriorated. Those cheap foam ones that the factory supplies are definitely not as good as these uh, polyurethane ones you can get. And these are the cheaper alternatives uh, bought off Amazon. Now, one thing about these uh, polyurethane bushing or bump stops is that they are very difficult to install. They don't want to give where you have to get them to go under the tabs there. So what I came up with was I took out my little camp stove and I boiled some water. And if you set these bump stops into some water for a little, about just a couple of minutes, they become soft and pliable that you can uh, put them into place and just set the weight of the Jeep down and it, it forces them right on into the pocket where they're supposed to be so worked out great. These next few items I would definitely say are game changers like uh, these lower control arms. Uh, these allowed me to get the um, differentials back to the f towards the six degrees which is what the factory sets the diffs at and I'm at about just a little over five degrees, which really helped with the bump steer. Now in the future, I'm going to need to get the upper control arms for both the front and rear so that I can uh, work the, the upper and lowers together to get it, you know, much closer to that, that actual six degree mark. Um, right now, I noticed that it, it really helped a ton uh, with the bump steer issue, but... Um, to get me closer, I definitely need to get the, uh, the uppers. So uh, that's uh, for a future. I also installed this uh, track bar brace. Um, that and the sector shaft brace were definitely game changers. The reason why these are game changers is because the, this is a really weak point from the factory. And once you go with any larger than stock tires, which I am currently running 35s, it, the, the amount that is noticed in how much the lack of response the steering wheel has is greatly amplified the larger the tire size gets. So, like I said, this is definitely a game-changing item. And while crawling under the Jeep, I uh, realized that I had missed installing a transmission skid plate when I originally started setting this up. And uh, I will say you have to take off quite a bit of stuff to get it out of the way just to install this little skid plate on there. Um, that whole cross member has to come off the bottom. And, uh, you know, just, it's not bad. It's not a hard job to do, but... Um, you know, I'm rolling around in gravel and working mostly with some hand tools, so uh, 
it definitely makes things a little bit more challenging. And because my uh, my joints and muscles don't work like other people's do anymore, I uh, kind of look like a monkey screwing a football when I'm trying to get up and down off the ground. So yeah, that kind of made this job a little bit harder than it should have been, you know, for what it was. I was also having an issue with my uh, amplified subwoofer. It was one of those under the seat uh, modules that you get and every time it rained, you know, the carpet gets wet and it all was soaking into it, rotting the wires and so forth. So this time I, I made this little shelf bracket here that goes between the, uh, um, the speaker bar and the roll cage. And uh, this way it mounts up elevated towards the roof and gets it out of uh, the areas that typically get wet with the water. So uh, hopefully this uh, should help out quite a bit. Since there's already a ton of install videos on YouTube um, and the fact that it takes me about three times longer than it takes anybody else to do the same job, I figured that uh, I would just you know give you some of the... Uh, cheaper upgrades that I have done and you know letting you know how you know some of these are definitely a game changer for those of us that drive Jeeps and the handling characteristics that associated with them but uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your game changers are and uh, what your upcoming plans for future upgrades are I'd like to hear them thank you